Celebrity Sleeves presented by McDonald's. The best part about working at McDonald's is thy people. Ooh, are you keeping up with all this AI controversy? Oh, yes, I am. Cheryl Crow did a BBC interview expressing deep concern about AI, particularly its impact on humanity and the planet, themes explored in her album Evolution. Uh, She apparently was horrified of the cloning of John Mayer, Tupac reviewing such actions as hateful. As a mother, she worries about AI's broader implication beyond music. Um, And now you've got three major record labels suing the AI creators. And now YouTube's coming in and going, well, why don't we try to work it out? Every day there's a different story. Yeah, one of them is one of the ones that we use for all the funny stuff that you've heard us play with. It's called Suno Suno is one of them. And what they're alleging is that these companies like Suno are taking their artists' success, analyze Mm -hmm. them, analyzing them, and recreating these AI versions of songs. And boy, that is going to be a court case of court cases. Because how do you, because, you know, a human can listen to a song and try to recreate it, you know? And And I think YouTube is now coming in saying, well, we can make deals with the artists. I don't know. This is just... Just the tipping point. It is the tipping point that's going to be discussed and litigated for a long time, and it should be very interesting. You know, this criminal investigation going on into Matthew Perry's death, have you heard the latest? Charlie Sheen's ex-wife, Brooke Mueller, has been questioned by law enforcement multiple times. Not arrested. Authorities seized an iPhone and a laptop from her as part of the investigation. I guess she knew Matthew from rehab and has faced, obviously, her own struggles with substance abuse and mental health issues. So they think that she's given him stuff or that she's been a fairy between... Maybe, and that's why they took her iPhone, laptop, and stuff like that. Oh, when they take your gear, that's That's serious. serious. Scarlett Johansson confirming she will headline the next Jurassic World movie, expressing immense excitement as a lifelong fan of the franchise. How many of those are there now? Because I remember like seeing the first and second, and then I lost track. Don't know. Yeah. Well, this is separate from the previous trilogy. Features a fresh storyline, Barnes. Filming will take place in Malta, the UK, all over the place. But, interestingly enough, guess who's back as EP? Steven Spielberg. Oh, wow. No, that's, I mean, you know, I thought they were going to come back. You put that name on there. Yeah, I thought you were going to come back with some lame name, but no. It's like, come on. They're coming in hot. Uh, During an appearance on Kimmel, Martin Short, Selena Gomez could not stop laughing as she recounted the incident, attributing it to Molly Shannon. I guess she talked about in the next season, guess what? A cast member passed gas in Meryl Streep's face while filming season four. Mm -hmm. In her face? upcoming, Yeah, in her face. Because, I mean, Molly Shannon is like one of the cast. Eva Longoria, Eugene Levy, Melissa McCarthy. I mean, they're getting all the big names as for cameos. Zach Galifianakis. It's pretty huge. Yeah, but we saw that doesn't always work out. Uh, I say see the Pop-Tart thing, whatever that Jerry Seinfeld. This Pop-Tart well, what, thing. What was it called? Pop-Tart? The art, the, the history of the Pop-Tart? Whatever. I like Only Murders in the Building because it's lighthearted because I watch a lot of dramas that have a lot of blood and guts, and sometimes I need a little palate cleanser. I'm just saying it's not always a guarantee when you get all those people. That Sometimes it's a signal that what you have isn't enough. I know that this, show isn't, but I'm saying yes. the Pop-Tart thing. Uh, Prince William recently revealed to Kevin Costner that Princess Diana, his mom, had a crush on the actor. Wow. Not her own bodyguard, but Kevin Costner. That's he explained in an oh, interview with people okay. that they were planning to collaborate on a sequel to The Bodyguard, despite their unspoken feelings. Both Kevin and Diana eventually moved on to other partners. Wait, Diana was going to collaborate on on a Bodyguard sequel? I don't and- know. It's what he said in this interview. I'm like, what? Collaborate like what? I don't know. I mean, I guess she could be a consultant. She doesn't. I can imagine, like you know, Kevin Costner um, again. He's very handsome, and a young Kevin Costner, I'm sure she had a crush on him. What was the final number on his movie that failed drastically? Like 11 million? Globally, right? So it did like four domestic? Yeah, because I looked at Inside Out 2, which is the Disney one, had like 57 million. And then A Quiet Place, day one, 
53, and then Horizon, an American wow. saga chapter. Just chapter one, Barnes, 11 million. So you think that they'll shelf chapter two? Because look, 4 million for an A-lister like Kevin Costner at the box office is death. I don't think I don't think they're going to shelve it because he's he's self financing and he's got like chapter two, three. I think he wants to just go on forever. But you're just going to spend all your money on something that the public know. just told you they don't want to see. I think you know the other thing about sometimes these movies have a shelf life after you know after time. Let's see what happens. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, but. These three-hour sagas, like, I don't know. I remember Waterworld, but... The audience didn't give them the benefit of the doubt. Four no, they million, didn't. that might be the biggest flop of well, of the year, easily. It's not really good. And then only four here, so... Jeez. Okay, I have got such an interesting movie to tell you about. Have you heard about this Robert Zemeckis movie called Here? Is that the one where they're not moving the camera at all? Tom Hanks and Robin Wright get de-aged and they play teenagers to 80-year-olds. It's like in a Forrest Gump kind of reunion. I was so fascinated by this. It's based on a novel here. It tells the century-long story of a single house and all the different people who lived there. And you're right, the camera sits at a fixed angle for the entire 104-minute duration without moving. That is such a weird commitment to make. You know what I mean? That could either backfire or be the new thing. But I can't imagine one angle of one shot through a whole movie. Well, I want you... Here's the trailer, and then I want to tell you what it reminds me of. Hey, Dad. I'd like you to meet Margaret. Nice to meet you, Margaret. Nice to meet you, Mr. Young. Take a straight to stronger course to the corner of your life. You could spend the rest of the night here been the rest of my life here this was our home we lived here dumb this down to me so they're aging backwards yeah okay it's like a it's, it's a reverse it's, benjamin button it's a reverse benjamin button but do you remember that movie boyhood no the richard linkletter movie i think ethan hawk was in it and patricia arquette no do you remember that movie they shot it over 11 years so you could oh, see yes. people grow i did see it yeah, you know, and now you don't have to I mean, do that because then you got heard of it. Yeah. Oh, you should definitely watch that one. Well, so really... they're going to do this all at once, though, and they're going to use CGI, deep fake kind of. Yeah. 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 Uh, one can. There's too much going on there. Too many. You're depending on these effects, and then one shot seems like the whole point of multiple shots and cameras is to I... keep the audience attention. Let's see what happens. It's called here, Robert Zemeckis. Oh, that is your celebrity sleaze. Fasten your seatbelt. Next Thursday, July 11th, 7.05 on The Morning X with Barnes and Leslie on 99X.